I think that's what every teacher wants, is to be an excellent teacher. I think it's just really hard um, to measure you know, how effective the teachers are or how effective the students are, but that's not the kind of conversation we also need to be having all the time. It's really hard to find a teaching job. Mm -hmm. It feels a little bit unknown, mm -hmm. a little bit scary. I'm Valerie Ong and I'm the Education Policy Fellow for Minnesota 2020. I'm Robin Curley. I'm a student at Hamlin University in the Master of Arts in Teaching program. Tell me why you want to be a teacher, given you know the cuts to education funding, the uh, achievement gap, and mm -hmm. so many other issues that are compounding education in Minnesota today. Why do you want to be a teacher? I mean, those issues and we're did not play in my mind at all when I was thinking about becoming a teacher. I, um, you know, I need to have meaning in my work, so teaching felt like a good fit. I loved working with kids and I, you know, I'm passionate about civics and civic education. There's a lot of conversation and critique about mm -hmm. how teachers are pretty ineffective today and, and that's sort of the, the terminology that's being used and yeah, yeah what, what's your take on that? I think that's the wrong conversation. I just, I mean, sure, in any profession, there's going to be people who you feel like are not up to par, but I really feel like teachers, for the most part, are doing their job well. It's just that the job is becoming something that we've never seen it before. You know, I mean, really, like, you've got kids coming to school hungry, kids who aren't sure where they're going to be sleeping at night, kids who are dealing with all sorts of stuff at home, kids who have never been read to before. I mean, those are the things that kids need to be effective learners, in my opinion. And, and it's really hard to expect teachers to address mm -hmm. all of the issues that, that kids are dealing with. Well, so I know you aren't a teacher yet, um, mm -hmm. but you know, are there any, any policies that you see would be beneficial or policies that you see would be harmful in terms of just moving the state forward? The thing that we need to be serious about is things that are going to actually be effective mm -hmm. and that aren't gimmicks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well I think it's also tricky to sort of measure effectiveness in student success and achievement mm. and especially when how we're measuring it now is mm. by you know the bubble tests. Yeah. What can fit into that? Everything else gets left out you know in yeah. terms of having students be a whole person with music programs or the arts. I mean, I don't know what the answer is in terms of assessing students. I mean, yes, absolutely. We need to be able to assess student learning and make sure that students are getting what they need in the classroom. I don't think that bubble tests are the answer to that. They might be a part of the answer right. to that, right. but um, they, they don't necessarily measure what students know. Mm -hmm.